Hello guys, this is Sir EJ and welcome again for another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing all about quadratic functions. These are the following objectives we need to attain for today's topic. Letter A, represent and identify functions using number 1, table of values, number 2, using the graph, and number 3, using the equation. Letter B, value accumulated knowledge as means of new understanding. What has been the worry of all the people in the world today? Yes, you are right. So today, we are facing a global pandemic called the COVID-19. Let's have this activity. The given table shows the reproduction of virus inside the body for every minute. So we have the number of minutes in terms of X and the number of virus inside the body in terms of Y. So for every one minute, there is only one virus. For every 2 minutes, there will be 4 virus inside the body. 3 minutes equals 9 virus inside the body. 4 minutes equals 16 virus inside the body. And 15 minutes equals 225 virus inside the body. Now, for x to become y, we need to multiply x by itself. So 1 times 1 is equal to 1, 2 times 2 is equal to 4, 3 times 3 is equal to 9, 4 times 4 is equal to 16, 15 times 15 is equal to 225. And if we are multiplying a number by itself, then we can also say that for x to become y, we are squaring the value of x. So our equation will be y is equal to x squared. So squaring the number 1 to the second power is 1, 2 to the second power is 4, 3 to the second power is 9, 4 to the second power is 16, and 15 to the second power is equal to 225. How about if the number of minutes is equal to 20, how many virus is inside the body? Alright, very good. The correct answer is 400. So we will just square the number. So 20 to the second power or 20 times 20 is equal to 400. So the equation will be y is equal to x squared. And this is an example of quadratic function. Let's state the difference between the linear function and quadratic function. For the linear function, our equation will be y is equal to ax plus b or f of x is equal to ax plus b. For the quadratic function, our equation will be y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c or f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. The linear function is a function which has an exponent of 1. It has a first degree exponent. Then for the quadratic function, it is a second degree function. Meaning to see, its exponent is raised to the second power. Then for the linear function, the first difference it produces is equal to the first difference in x. Then for the quadratic function, Equal differences in y are instead the second difference in y. So it do not lead to first equal differences in x. Then, for the linear function, the graph is a straight line. And for the quadratic function, the graph is a smooth curve. These are some real-life applications of quadratic function. So it can be for building structures can be for computing the minimum point or maximum height of an object 
or analyzing the movement of an object. These are examples of situations that model quadratic function. Our first example will be targets an object in upward position. So once you have target an object in upward position, let's say for example, you have thrown a ball upward, then throwing a ball will create this spot. Then once it reached the maximum height, it will fall to the ground. So it will create a parabola. And we all know that a parabola is the graph for the quadratic function. Another one is shooting a ball vertically upward. So once you have shot a basketball ball, then you are creating a curve, a smooth curve called the parabola. So this is an example of quadratic function. So let's have this activity tell whether each function is quadratic or not quadratic. First one, f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 7. Is this quadratic or not quadratic? Alright, very good. The correct answer is quadratic function. Next, how about y is equal to 2x squared minus 4? Is it quadratic or not quadratic? Alright, very good. This is a quadratic function because it has an exponent of 2 and then it has a variable of y. Then, let's have f of x is equal to 9x plus 9. Is it quadratic or not quadratic? Alright, very good. The correct answer is not quadratic because it has only a leading term which has an exponent of 1. Therefore, this is a linear function. Next, how about f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 12. Is it quadratic or not quadratic? Alright, that is correct. It is a quadratic function because it is equated by f of x, then it has an exponent of 2. Let's have our last example. How about f of x is equal to 11x minus 7? Is this an example of quadratic or not quadratic? That is correct. The correct answer is not quadratic because the exponent of the leading term is only 1. It is raised to the first power, therefore this is a linear function and not a quadratic function. Let's identify if the following ordered pair shows a quadratic function using the table of values. So let's say for example, these are the following ordered pair. So we have 0.12, 0.23, 0.35, 0.48, and 0.512. So how can we identify if the following set of ordered pair is an example of quadratic function? So all we have to do is to get the differences of these numbers, the numbers in the row of f of x. So we have 2, 3, 5, 8, and 12. And we will get the differences between these two numbers. So we have 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. And then next one, we have 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Then 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. 12 minus 8 is equal to 4. Now the next step, after we have get the first differences of these numbers, is to subtract ulit natin. So we have 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. And then 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Now, if the second difference are equal with each other, then the given table of values shows a quadratic function. So this set of ordered pairs in the table of values is an example of quadratic function. Let's have our next example. So we have the following set of ordered pairs in the table of values. So the first step we need to do is to subtract the numbers in the row of f of x. So we have 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. Let's get the differences of these numbers. 
9 minus 7 is equal to 2. 11 minus 9 is equal to 2. 13 minus 11 is equal to 2. And 15 minus 13 is equal to 2. Now, as you can notice, parehas yung difference ng mga numbers na to. So, if the first difference is constant or the same, then it is not a quadratic function. But instead, it is a linear function. Let's have our next example. So we have a given table of values. So again, we will subtract the numbers in the row of f of x. So we have the numbers 3, 0, 1, 6, and 15. Let's get the differences of these numbers. 0 minus 3 is equal to negative 3. 1 minus 0 is equal to positive 1. 6 minus 1 is equal to positive 5. And then 15 minus 6 is equal to positive 9. So, hindi nag-equal yung first difference. Therefore, this is not a linear function. So, kunin natin yung second difference. 1 minus negative 3 is equal to positive 4. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. And then 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. Then, since nag-equal yung second difference, therefore, this is an example of quadratic function. Next one is identifying quadratic function using the graph. Let's say, for example, we have a given equation f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 1, wherein the value of x is negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. We will solve for the value of f of x. To do that, all we need to do is to substitute the values of x on our equation. So let's try to solve if x is equal to negative 3, what will be the value of f of x? So using this equation, all we need to do is to substitute negative 3. So f of negative 3 is equal to 2 times the value of x, which is equal to negative 3, raised to the second power plus 1. Then negative 3 to the second power is positive 9. 9 times 2 is equal to 18, and then 18 plus 1 is equal to 19. So if x is equal to negative 3, then the value of f of x is equal to positive 19. How about if the value of x is equal to negative 2? Again, paltan lang natin yung mga values ng x. So 2 times negative 2 to the second power plus 1. Negative 2 to the second power, negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to positive 4. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. And then 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. So the value of uh, f of x is equal to positive 9. How about if x is equal to negative 1? What will be the value of f of x? Again, substitute natin yung negative 1. So, f of negative 1 is equal to 2 times negative 1 to the second power plus 1 exponent first. Negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to positive 1. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So, if x is equal to negative 1, then the value of f of x is equal to positive 3. Next one, if x is equal to 0, then substitute natin yung 0 sa ating equation. 0 times 0 is equal to 0. So 0 times 2 is equal to 0. 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, the value of f of x if x is equal to 0 is equal to 1. How about if x is equal to 1? Again, substitute lang ulit. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So, f of x if x is equal to 1 is equal to 3. Then, if x is equal to 2, what will be the value of f of x? So, the answer will be equal to 9. And then, for the last one, we have x is equal to 3. Substitute lang ulit natin yung 3 sa equation. So, magiging f of 3 is equal to 2 times the value of x is equal to 3 raised to the second power plus 1. So, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 9 times 2 is equal to 18. And then, 18 plus 1 is equal to 19. Therefore, if x is equal to 3, then the value of f of x is equal to 19. Now, after we have complete the table of values, we will sketch or we will plot these points 
on a Cartesian coordinate plane. So let's now sketch the graph. So this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. So we have negative 3, positive 19. So yung point negative 3, 19 na andito. 1, 2, 3, then 19 pataas. Then negative 2 going to the left. So 1, 2, then positive 9. So nandito yung positive 9. Then we have negative 1, positive 3. So negative 1, 1, 2, 3. So naandito siya. Then we have 0, 1. So 0, 1. So nandito yung 0, 1. And then 1, 3 is nandito. Then we have 0.29 and 0.319. Then after we have plot the points, sketch na natin yung graph. So ganito yung magiging itsura ng graph. It is a smooth curve or a parabola. So since parabola yung nagawa natin graph, then this set of table of values is an example of quadratic function.